So hi everyone, um, welcome back. So as Anna explained, I'm one of the senior midwifery lecturers at the University of Central Lancashire. I was a student myself here, um, really passionate about UCLan, the importance of it for me as an individual and how impactful that, that has been. And it all stems from relationships. So the presentation will be about education's role in supporting relationships and how impactful that is for sustaining, supporting breastfeeding. But it absolutely can be rolled in terms of so many different areas of practice of your individual life etc so I want to highlight that whilst I'm the person presenting I'm with so many incredible um, colleagues at the university and I mean across the whole university it really is connected in terms of relationships and so I'm the BFI lead for the university and I want to acknowledge my predecessors who are Anna Byron, Megan Langrish who no, no longer work with us but have had such an important role in our BFI journey. So we are now and have been for a good few years now a gold accredited university so we've had so we've achieved the achieving sustainability standards for midwifery and for health visiting. And health visiting, so Pippa Atkinson, my most wonderful colleague and friend, is our lead for health visiting. And it's really important as well that we pay respect and say thank you to our other BFI leadership team, Carol Machardi, our LME, Dharma Kaviri and Andy Melling, who are our guardians. And also welcome Jenny Ferraby to our team. She's just joined us this year, so really exciting. And to our whole team in general and say thank you to everybody. So... Throughout the presentation, it's you'll see there's a theme of a ripple effect. And I often get asked, why did you go into education? Why did you leave practice? And for me, and this is what I often say, the reason is the ripple effect. As a midwife, I, I loved being a midwife. I love being a midwife. It's a real special role, as I'm sure you'll all agree. And caring for a family, making that difference to their lives is so special. Now I get to do that, but on a different level. So supporting students, Amy, one of them who's just qualified, all the incredible um, few, now midwives who've been at the university, the support that I hopefully have given them and the philosophy and you know that compassion and that, that relationship building, they are now out in practice making that impact and those ripple effects. And it all is about relationships. So... I'm going to talk about the importance in terms of how important it is for humanity, close and loving relationships, the midwife-mother relationship, our role in education, and also interprofessional education and some of the things that we've done at UCLA. I have, a, to coin a term, BFI is life. And I, I say this all the time, BFI to me is life. And I mean that by the importance of close and loving relationships. As a mother, I was had a difficult breastfeeding journey and because of the support I received, the close and loving relationships from peer supporters, I achieved my own breastfeeding journey and then became a midwife. And that's where it all stems from for me. And when we think about the evidence, brain development, the, in, the connections that we make, that is so important for humanity. And I think in terms of supporting breastfeeding and all parents, it's really, really important that we have that foundation. So as I've mentioned, BFI Close and Loving Relationships, please do go onto the website. There's so many incredible resources. There's some brilliant um, videos that you can share with parents that you can use as a midwife, that you can really, there's just some wonderful resources. So I really do encourage you to go on there. And for me, the focus on that fostering close and loving relationships and parents is a great way to, as an in, in terms of starting those relationships. And when we're thinking about leadership and the importance of that compassionate care, et cetera, that for me started so much in terms of when I was a BFI specialist midwife with the most incredible compassionate leader, that is Sue Henry. When I was a student midwife, Anna told me about a book 
uh, the midwife mother relationship and I got that book today off, off my bookshelf and looked at it and thought wow what an incredible book it's by um, Mavis Kirkham if you haven't seen it and there's also um, a chapter in there called The Professional Servant by Mary Cronk so I'd really encourage you to look at that and that encompasses for me the importance of our relationships and our role for being um midwives and supporting that connection and we know that the trust and the empathy and those connections that we share when we're caring for women is so important. So our role in education, it's for me, for many people, it's the start. So I've mentioned today when we're talking about team building, how I've no makeup left on after um, a really emotional day and I can remember over the last few years so many moments listening to the students stories and that is where the connections really start and from that moment and for those individuals to share those vulnerabilities is really special and that's the type of educator that I am and I from being Anna's student having that for me was really important and that these future midwives are our peers. So three weeks ago, there was some third year midwives who now qualified midwives and not having that hierarchy, whilst absolutely need to ma maintain professionalism, and but they are our peers. We're all here to do the same role and care for people and make a difference. So when we're starting to think about these connections and how we can make that difference, by reaching out and finding those connections across the university. For example, uh, last week I had two conversations with individuals that I've made new connections with. One was in the people team, our HR department, and we had such a great conversation and we're now developing, we're going to be developing our new guidance in terms of supporting staff when they either start university or return from maternity leave and they're breastfeeding. And also another conversation with um, a critical care um, nurse who runs a module and I'm going to be teaching on that, supporting critical care nurses, how to care for mothers um, when they're critically ill. So it's, as I said, about making those connections. And we've got such an incredible team within our team who... Um, do restorative supervision, equip and really support the students and each other to, again, it's about relationships. That culture of kindness is so important. Interprofessional education is something that we do well. We do very well. Um, we are award winning. We won an award. There's 17 members of staff who work on lots of interprofessional education projects. Two of them that midwifery are involved with at the moment, one is with pharmacy students, and within that, um, that's a great day, we have actors um, come in and play different roles, and one of the uh, scenarios that the actors play is a mother with postnatal depression, and the student midwives and the student, um, they work together in terms of how can they support each other, and another one we also do um, on infant feeding is we've got physician associates, doctors, health visitors, midwives, oh, lots of other uh, nurses, so child, adult, mental health nurses, all working together on a case to support um, a family through their infant feeding journey. And the importance of that interprofessional education, when we're thinking about reports such as Ockerden, Kirkhop, and the importance of training together, and Anna's mentioned philosophies, understanding, each other's philosophies in terms of the profession. So we educate and teach on salutogenesis, but not all professions do. So when these students are in practice, they can understand and try and support each other, having known as students, you know, it starts really early on in terms of that collaboration and supporting each other. So finally, I just want to, again, talk about this ripple effect and how small positive interactions and actions can build those relationships that are far reaching than we ever realize. And you know, in terms of breastfeeding outcomes, the evidence is really clear on the importance of that. And I want to leave you tonight in terms of think about 
those people and maybe write it down who in your life in your personal life but also your professional life are you grateful for think about a family that you've cared for and the relationships and the connections that you made with them or it might be you as a parent yourself what professionals did you have that connection with and how did it make you feel and the importance of that because there's so many times that we can't quite explain how important that connection is and your reach out there in terms of the ripple effect you can't underestimate and the BFI um, standards and the framework is really incredible and for me that's been the thing that has really supported and developed over the years so that I can make those connections and relationships with colleagues and again have that ripple effect so thank you.